In 2011, British Olympic gold medal winner Tom James was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, a cardiac condition that cast doubt on his chances of being selected for the London 2012 team. After being treated for his condition by cry cardiologist Sanjay Sharma, Tom was picked for the squad and went on to win his second gold medal in the men's coxless four. Today, he returns to St George's for a follow-up consultation with Professor Sharma, where he remembers what symptoms led him to seek help. I've been having palpitations, well, randomly, maybe for a couple of years, on and off in little patches. And then I think when I got it, I just remember going down to training, but not necessarily having any sort of symptoms, as it were. I didn't feel like I had a cold or anything, but obviously being very fatigued, I think. Yes. Um, not necessarily in the, in the, you know, in the sort of sleepy fatigue, but when you're, when you're training and you're already, I mean, we'd come off the back of a, of a training camp anyway, we'd been yes. at altitude. Yes. Um, and then when we, we got back, we did, a, we did a test and I got through the test, it was absolutely terrible. And then the next day I thought there's something, there's something gotta be wrong. So I went training, couldn't try to do an 8K ergo, which is a short ergo anyway, 30 yes. minute training session, couldn't do more than, you know, five minutes without having to stop. Um, and I knew something was wrong. So at that point, it's like, well, there's no point. You, you, if, if, if you're that bad, then you don't do anything. So we took the decision to just go home and rest. We thought it was a virus. Yes. Um, and then uh, it, it didn't really change. <laughs> that was a problem. Because we so, just thought we thought it was a virus because there was a bug going around the team. Yes. And so that was the default position at that point. And then everyone's busy. You've got selection. You know, the doctors, are, I think, were quite over time at that point as well. And... Um, it wasn't for another week or so before we sort of readdressed, well, this virus isn't, nothing's cleared. So you were still having palpitations that week? Um, yeah, um, but I think the palpitations were just something I, I just thought was what athletes get. Nice. Um, and it's not uncommon, from what I'm told, that for, for there to be palpitations. Yes. Um, and sometimes there are rhythmias in your heart. It doesn't necessarily mean there's, yes. there's that's something um, significant, but it's what athletes, particularly endurance athletes, sometimes they might get ectopics, yeah, ex exactly. extra beats of fluttering yeah. in the chest. Yeah, yes. um, but I think I've probably gone over the point where it was, they were sig significant at that point where it, where it, to make it an abnormality. Yes. Um, and then certainly when I was in AF, then it was, um, uh, you know, it was just some, it wasn't something that really occurred to us until eventually put a um, heart rate monitor on and it was sort of 250 or something when I was, when I was just sitting down <laughs> trying to do a few strokes on an ergo. Yes. And then you think there's something wrong with the heart rate monitor, so chuck that one out, go and get another one. Yeah. It's the same, another one, it's the same. Because yes. um, the thing is, we, I mean, we don't often use heart rate monitors anymore because you just know your training levels. Yes. You get lactate, there's other forms of testing. We use lactate testing and it's much more um, effective of, of giving you, giving you um, feedback on your, on your training. Yes. So, you know, we don't tend to use heart rate monitors on day-to-day -day training. Um, but in this instance, we, we try to, you know, look at everything. And that's when it, there's obviously, obviously seemed to be something wrong with, with, yeah. um, with my heart at that point. And then obviously sent off to see you and you diagnosed it pretty quickly. <laughs>